everybody, the sun is finally out and Mike wants to get a bikini body. Yeah, I do I ever, <laughs> especially after seeing the movie Thor. That guy is huge. We are joined by Josh Newman. Uh, Stay Fit Anywhere is the company and he brought a ton of equipment with him today so we can do a, uh, a workout That's on right. the go. Tell us about Stay Fit Anywhere. First well, Stay Fit Anywhere, we're a personal training, group training company and what we're all about is just teaching people how to use their body as effectively as possible. And people are getting too much into their workouts and trying to use too many pieces of equipment, but you can really pare it down and get a better workout. Maybe you can explain a little yeah. bit about your philosophy. So basically our philosophy is, is learn how to move, learn how to move really, really well, learn basically six exercises, learn how to squat, learn how to lunge, learn how to bend, learn how to push something, <laughs> learn how to pull something, and, and learn how to twist. Okay. You can learn those things. You've got the tools to now, have a really great workout. You've developed a workout that, that sort of centered around this idea of, uh, well, I guess inspired by the movie almost, yeah. right? So when I, when I saw Chris Hemsworth, he was, you said he's huge. He's he, huge. Looked, he looked jacked. Let's he look at big. a picture for Mike's only, inspiration. Yeah, 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 not only is he big, but he's like, it, it's effective muscle. You can tell, right? Like the way he moves, it's not that big, cumbersome, kind of old school 80s gym body. No, he's got a body that can move. He can use it. I mean, he's got that hammer he saw in, in the rock. The thunder there. hammer! The thunder yes, hammer he is there. He's trying to get it out there. So you obviously have to learn how to move his body. And uh, basically, he did it using just simple tools. And how about diet? How much does that play into getting a body like that? Uh, diet's huge. Uh, you can't out train poor nutrition if you're not eating well and you're not recovering well, no matter how hard you're working out. Yeah. It, it's going to be, be Was it Jack and Wayne that said junk in, junk out? Yeah, junk in, yeah. junk out. Yeah, you're, you're, you're only as good as what comes in. To get your oh, yes. workout on. All right. So we're going to start with something called goblet squats with yeah, Mike. We're gonna Maybe give you it can a, explain what those are. So a goblet squat is basically we're going to take this tool, yeah, slam that down to the ground. We're going to grab just a single dumbbell here. Okay. <laughs> Pick one up there. Be the careful. The Viking helmet actually makes him stronger, which I is I know. Super it's cool. going to summon some strength. This is where the thunder hammer hammers, comes right? into play. Okay. So we're going to grab it, get it in, in tight, kind of gla grasp onto it with your forearms, yep. set your feet, and we're going to stick our bum out and just drop as deep as we can into a nice squat and then power tall. And okay. should you be on your heels for this, toes? Yeah, we want to load into our heels a little bit just so we have our weight sort of back and center so we can get our bum back. And then as you come out, try and tear the floor apart. You'll get a lot more power. <laughs> you get a lot more power on your backside. So I how tear the floor asunder. How low asunder. should you go? Now, this all depends on how sort of uh, mobile you are, but right. if you can get your ass down to the grass, you're okay. <laughs> there, you there you go. So, so you want to go below knees. Yeah, we're going to go we're going to go pretty close Don't to below rip parallel. Those tight little pants and then we're going to drive they ourselves up nice pants. and tall. These are thunder hammer pants. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> So as much as we can, we're going to get our bum out, down, drive tall. And Josh, how about the spread on your feet? Because I notice you're a little bit further than shoulder width. Is that, does that depend on your this level is or is just what, what is comfortable? Basically what's comfortable. I mean, preferably, you know, we will go get a little bit wider. It'll help you get a little deeper. And uh, having your toes point out might get you a little bit more power. But it's, again, whatever is comfortable for and you. People's assumption, obviously, is this is going to be lower body. It's yeah. glutes. It's everything else. Yeah. But you do get upper body with this Absolutely. As well. I mean, so we're grabbing a hold here. Shoulders got to work pretty hard. Yeah. The weight is trying to pull us forward, so we got to have our gotta midsection's got to be on. And how many reps should you do of the goblet squats? So basically, in this workout, I got you going for eight reps, okay. and we paired that up with push-ups, and you got ten minutes to see how many okay, times bam, you can do it. Okay, bam, let's move to the push-ups. So you, just, you okay. do this and push-ups for yeah, ten so minutes. You, you banged As out your eights, and then we get into our push-ups push next. So if we had like a little push-up set here. Don't roll your oh, eyes okay. at me. Mike's going to get down there. I'm going to cue him up. I'm going to get him to go feet right together. Get your heels together. Tight and light. And then boom, power away from the floor. And Josh, when we're talking My helmet. about... helmet! When we're, when we're talking... Uh, look at that. <laughs> I can get that Thanks, on. buddy. There you go. Now you're set. When we're talking about form, once again, a lot of people are wasting their energy with push-ups by doing them wrong. Of yep. course, Mike is... I'll give him this. He looks pretty good here. He looks pretty ones. strong. But should you do uh, an easier form of a push-up to get better form so yes. that you're not wasting energy? Yeah, it's all about quality here. If you're, if you're going down to the push-up, up and you can't really get yourself all the way pretty close to the floor there, we'd want to modify by either going you know, off a bench so that you're up or dropping yeah. to your knees. Now, and if you have a real problem, just hold the top And spot. I was joking earlier about how yeah. much equipment you brought, but I mean, this whole workout, and it will challenge people yeah. majorly yeah. when you do it, yeah. it involves no equipment, basically. Yeah, we just got one dumbbell. Split I mean, squat. That's it. Okay, what now? Okay, split squat. So split squat, so he's going to create himself. Does this helmet make me look too horny? Yeah. Is it all? <laughs> okay. So our split squat, yeah. if I, I go first, y'all go right foot forward. I would have the the one dumbbell. I mean, if we, we can kind of hang tight with it right now, just have it by our side. We're going to be, again, nice and tall. We're going to drop our hips straight down, create 90s on the front, 90s on the back, beautiful, great shoulders, and then just 
drive tall. And Josh, a lot of times uh, people try and do these as fast as possible. Again, yeah. are you wasting energy? Should you be worried uh, about your form and doing them right? Always want to be worried yeah. about our form. We don't want to take a chance and miss a rep. Yeah. We're only as good as sort of our last rep. And so make sure that you can real nice. Yeah, that's right. It doesn't count if you don't do it right. That's right. It doesn't okay. count. You're, you have a chance to hurt yourself and you're going to miss your next workout. And what are hinged rows? So hinged rows. We're going to just set up. You could have a stool, a chair, a desk. You're going to plant one hand down onto your, your apparatus. Stick your bum out. Make sure everything's nice and flat. Eyes are just looking over the top there. Mike, you get into the Lord Odic yeah. position. You get to yeah, set yourself <laughs> up there. So... He's nice and set. Boom. Beautiful. Look at that. How's that? Okay. You eyes, laugh, eyes but it's right. Eyes are looking right. forward. Put your horns down. Okay. There you go. Tuck your shoulder back and tuck it in real tight. Right Boom. There he goes. He's nice and, nice and strong in this position. And, and posture he's is so important. Posture is huge here. Yeah. If you're not set all the time, it's going to make you again, like I said, we're going to waste energy. Okay. okay. We, okay. we want to get to the third superset. We've got uh, leg deadlifts and okay. uh, push presses okay, together. Okay, so we're going to go for a single leg deadlift here. Uh, we want to have a little bit of weight to counterbalance ourselves. So if you want to grab that with your right hand there, Mike, yeah. we're going to go onto our left foot first, slight little bend in our knee. You're going to load up. You're going to reach oh, almost down happening. to the floor, reach your other foot way back, then come on up nice and tall. Tuck your shoulder back, get it set. Yes, Beautiful. Sir. Reach, 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 and come on back up. There you go. Whoa. Yeah, balance might be a little it's bit of challenge yeah, yeah, yeah. here, but that's okay. Use your kickstand. It's because come of the lifts in my That's stand. right. There you go. <laughs> Those I wouldn't say are the most ideal workout shoes, but hey, they're doing the trick here. There you Bagger. go. All Good. right, beautiful. Okay, really beautiful. quick, we've got time for the last one. So our here. final exercise is a push press. We've already done a squat, so we're gonna take kind of take that little squat we didn't cut it in half. Bring the dumbbell up to our shoulder. Mm -hmm. Get your bum down. Use the power of your legs to drive that dumbbell up and over. Then bring it on back and drive it up. There you go. And what about breathing? That is something that I forget to do. Absolutely. Okay, you got to breathe when you're doing this stuff. If you're not you're breathing, breathing, you're going to be missing out. Sometimes I hold my breath when I'm doing a set yeah. of something and I can't okay. figure out why I'm going to pass so, out. So real simple rule. I'm also really dumb. <laughs> breathe out when the exercise is the hardest. Take so your breath out. So breathe out when it's the toughest part. Yeah, and okay. that's usually when you're fighting against gravity. Okay, gravity's always pushing us Constant down, so we have, over here. we have some real good resistance always fighting with Okay, us. if you want to check it out, you can go to stayfitanywhere.com to find out how you can work out with this fella right here, and you can get your bikini body like this guy right here. They're really heavy. I know. We We're going to take a break, and when we come back, one day designer sale to benefit the United Way. Wait until you see the clothes that are going to be up for you to buy and help out a great cause. Be right back to show you some of the clothes and explain the whole thing right after this. Nice, that's the way to pump it out. <laughs> Do you want the horns or don't?